I, I saw this great piece actually uh, Surfline put together and he sat down, uh, Kelly sat down with Tom Carroll and just had a bit of a candid conversation uh, at Bells during that last event and really gave you a bit of an insight just to where Kelly's mind, where, where his head's at right now. Anytime you get to see him in the jersey as we see a little bit of live action, quick in and out from Jake Marshall. But yeah, you've just really got to soak it all in because you just really never know. And 2022 where he won at Pipeline. Marshall, first turn, nice snap off the lip, a bit harder off the end section and steps out. What a year it's been for Jake, four in the world. Oh, th this is Jake's best year so far, you know, used to seeing up there in that, you know, final fi like final five conversation, you see Kelly up and riding. Nice bottom turn for Kelly. Nice speed through the first section, clipped on the second opportunity. He, he's kind of found some secrets in the last couple of years, especially working with Andy King. Yeah, definitely. We'll get back to that point in a sec as we see Kelly. 52 years of age from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Kelly lays into the first section. Nice whip on the open face, looking loose with a lot of control. Tracking into the pocket again, looks inspired on that ride. A few days ago, as we'll break down this one from Kelly. Goes up into layback jam for that first maneuver. Pivots really hard for the second carving one. Brings it through to this shallow inside section here. Was probably hoping for a little bit more. Probably wanted that end section to stand up so he could really belt that last section. But nice little bit of variety here. He probably knew that this wave was a little bit, you know, for lack of a better word, fat. So he's like, okay, I'm going to get two carving maneuvers here. Let's give it a bit of variation. You can see here he really drops that back arm there, back into the wall of the wave. Just throwing so much spray. Comes around this second section into another carving maneuver. He's just able to pivot so well there. Gets a little bit relief, bit of bit, bit of release on the fins. Look, and looks like Ramsey. Ramsey setting this one up. The powerful back end from Morocco. Perfect connection there, straight up vertical to switch gears. And now throwing a beautiful wrapping car before it hits the bricks. And he's actually achieved a lot in, in changing pro surfing just with equipment. As we see an up and out for Ramsey, his big score, the 683 coming on the backhand. Oh yeah, I've just been so impressed by Jake this year. As we see Ramsey having a look at a left here. Ramsey with some speed, throws down a nice tight carve in the pocket. Lays down that rail of that JS Industry surfboard. And now punches out the end section, incomplete on the final turn. Not bad as we break this one down. Big carving maneuver there, back to the source. The wave gets a bit steeper here. He's really able to lay into that second turn. Got to be thinking. Indonesia as well as we look at his last wave looking for a 6.10 to get the lead off Ramsey Yeah, Kelly paddling so hard to get into this one. You could really tell he wanted it Got that first turn in but kicks out of there and behind him Jake just carving through that first section just to really set up the second one So two turns. Jake was tiny. Oh, yeah, I saw that right next to Taj yeah. and Kelly who came in from the expression session Here's Ramsey Pushing the arc off the top, hard off the oh. bottom. There's that big vertical hammer that he's got on demand. Been using it well in the second maneuver after that nice slingshot carve. Can frame it vertical on the next maneuver. Strong. I mean, it's not really doing it justice watching it here. You can see the spray blowing off the back of the wave, but just here he makes that turn just a little bit more drawn out so that the second section, it just really stands up and he was able to absolutely nail that second turn. But yeah, the first section out here generally doesn't stand up as much as what this second section does. Right there, he goes so vertical, gets so much whip out of the lip, and I believe that he's probably going to improve on this backup score here. He just draws that turn out a bit more, a little bit more horizontal, but this maneuver here, he's able to go square straight on up. Really vertical approach, really critical. So just the two turns there from Ramsey, but 4.44 remaining. Kelly with priority, needing to move into the top two as he fades the takeoff. Going to that first section, connects off the lip line, punches out the pocket. Out in front now and a tough section to work with, tries to throw down a dagger of a hack. The intensity of that turn was because he was running out of water. We'll break it down here, so he goes straight up into the lip. Pretty critical. 
sort of uses it as a transition move as he gets around this section. Wave bowls out here. He throws the arm back again. Just really jams it. I really love that turn. That was my favorite turn on this wave. But this section here brings it around. And this, yeah, the board just gets a bit caught up there. The nose digs under. And I mean, oh, I mean, he was definitely getting the score if he, before that. I think he might even get this score without making that last turn. He only needs a 3.6. Couple of different lip lines by yeah. the time he got there and really tried to force it. Ramsey with some water. That looks nice and clean. A couple of big vertical backhand turns, and this guy's just been so solid on his feet. He's just chasing a 4.78. Kelly watching him go. World number four from Southern California hits the first section. Fades the set of a big bottom turn and crushes the lip. Marshall out in front with a fading cut back, right back to the lip line again. Fading into the pocket one more time, the man with ice. And we'll get to watch it right here. So, goes straight up to the lip here, but that little fade there, that check fade back, just really put himself in a great position for these last few turns on this wave. Great pace, a little bit of variation here. And... But Bukayam looking deadly with his backhand attack, big vertical power hooks.